it going, bros? My name is Timmy Joe. Smish fish. And I am a maker of videos on the internet. Timmy Joe, where you been? Well, it's not easy making videos on the internet. It's not easy being viral sensation. It's not easy making videos on the internet. Sorry, no, it really, it's it kind of, well, it's not that hard. Anyways, my name's Timmy Joe. Uh, I may have recently made a video, and I took some pictures of this light pillar phenomena. You can go check it out. It's whatever. If you, you know what it is. You probably already, if you're watching my videos, you know who I am. And, but I was interviewed, like, literally all over the world. Every continent from the U.S. to Europe to Asia to Australia, South American stuff, Spain, uh, Africa, cr like, the crazy India like the craziest thing and uh my pictures were viewed by millions of people uh an, an article was once uh, one of them was shared 300,000 times my video uh alone has 325,000 views so i've just been taking a little bit of time you know getting my glasses wet uh after that situation kind of weirded out about it because it wasn't really where my you know the focus of my channel's been i wanted to make it tech and then this thing happens but i want to make a video about how my experience of that whole viral thing because i don't think it's not a normal thing to be interviewed all around the world for some pictures you took so i want to recount that story eventually but for for now for the time being i've been thinking a lot about it over the last week or so and i need to uh you know make uh, a schedule i need to make some specific content on a schedule so i'm gonna try monday wednesday friday like i used to used to pump those videos out and make them happen but i have uh some specific things i want to do on those specific days and today we're just gonna riff it while i get those all that in order because i want to talk about smartphones and do some smartphone news yeah um so uh, i think this is gonna be a pretty damn cool year for smartphones like we've been getting lackadaisical if that's even a word we've been getting very like uh the, this this smartphone world has been a little bit stagnant with uh you know everything being very very good even if you buy you know any brand of phone you're gonna be pretty damn happy if you pay you know a decent amount of money for it whether it's lg htc samsung huawei everyone's making pretty damn good phones these days you know where it wasn't quite like that five years ago if you wanted a really good camera you did have to buy like the top samsung device or an apple iphone or whatever but uh where the differentiation is going to happen and some market share is going to be lost this year i think is in the top spot battle for ultimate android smartphone this year because samsung's coming off of an l coming off of a loss on the note 8 they ex it literally blew up in their faces and they're they're gonna suffer for that for a little while and it's gonna make it so when consumers knowing that this battery problem happened go to you know renew their contracts and get their new phones this year they're actually not just gonna go well give me the samsung because i know it's the best they might have a look around and LG's always been riding on the coattails of, uh, of, of Samsung, not really gaining the market share in the mobile space that they deserve, but at the same time, their phones have been kind of ugly, especially last year with that modular uh, G5. It was uh, a silly idea, and I think they just, you know, they committed to it, they made it happen, and then never released this any updates for it or anything production. like that, so... Uh, you know, it was kind of weird, but then they released the V20. And the V20 is probably the best smartphone you can buy, like, right, right now, in my opinion. I've never even touched one, but watching lots of videos, doing the research, I wish I could buy one. And uh, one of the V20's problems and the V10's problems were very carrier specific. I think they might be GSM only. You can only buy them from like a certain manufacturer in, or a, a certain uh, carrier in the States, as well as in Canada, you can't even buy it at all. I'm sure abroad it sells very well, but I, you know, I'd love to get my hands on that phone. Big 5.7 inch screen with that little extra screen on it like uh amazing camera optics amazing uh dac on it so 
stuff sounds really good on it and uh you know it's it's really the total package and if they bring that to the g5 which they're going to or sorry the g6 it's going to be a smash hit it's coming out earlier than the samsung and uh samsung has you know some some explaining to do when people go to renew their contracts this year can you know they buy a smartphone without it exploding is it going to have some issue so they might look to the lg which has now a glass back which is now waterproof which has these amazing cameras which looks amazing has that 90 percent bezel-less design on the front of it you know and, and it still has all of the amazing specs that the s8 has uh you know and the s8 doesn't even look like it's going to have a headphone jack and the lg is going to with a 24-bit DAC. So when they look at this and they go, I can have the exploding phone with no headphone jack, or I can have this really nice LG one. And you know what? I know LG. They make good TVs. They make appliances. I think people are going to switch. This year's going to be, you're going to see them lose market share to LG. And maybe, uh, you know, if, if LG can bring out the V30 on a larger scale to compete with the Note 8 that's going to come out and clean up there too, we might see a totally different smartphone game where maybe LG and Samsung are competing on a level playing field, much like LG did with their TVs a few years ago. They really stepped up their game and now they're one of the best, if not the best TV out there and Samsung's almost playing catch up against them. So some quick specs for you. The LG, uh, you know, we see a, a render here. There's been a case uh, picture that's been leaked. We know it's gonna have a 5.7 inch front screen with barely any bezel. So it's gonna have the same kind of form factor as the G5 did, but with a huge screen on it. It's gonna have waterproofing. It's still gonna have upgradable storage. It's still gonna have a headphone jack. You know, it's gonna be uh, the dual cameras kind of for like from the V20. And uh, it's, I think it's just gonna, it's gonna knock it out of the park. It's gonna be one of the first phones with Google Assistant where we're pretty sure, which is the, you know, the in-home thing while it, and uh, what's on the Pixel. That's gonna be one of the first phones that's not the Pixel that picks that up because there's been this thing. The only downside is it's not gonna have the latest and greatest Snapdragon because Samsung uh, became a partner, even though they make processors on their own with Snapdragon and like made some deal where they get the, all the 835, Snapdragon 835, the new chipset that's coming out. And the LG is going to be forced to stick with this generation's uh, 821, which is like an upgrade this over this generation anyways. Production. Probably not going to make a big deal. Their phones are so fast these days. As long as LG just, uh, you know, calms it down on the bloatware. I had it in an LG. I don't think it was that slow compared to a Samsung, like, bloatware-wise. They've been streamlining their OSs a little bit. But one of the great things about the LG is that there's always this, like, great, you know, deep dive of customization. If you don't like something, you can probably find a set. To, you know, to switch it around in the phone to make it more like the last phone you had. Uh, but will this work for like the layman, for the person that doesn't, you know, nerd out over smartphone specs? I think that the design of it is what's going to sell it. That's why people like iPhones, they pick it up and it feels like this tangible, amazing thing. And LGs haven't been like that. And this new one appears like it's really going to knock it out of the park. So what do you guys think? Do you think that I talk too much about smartphones and I'm too big of a nerd? Do you think that the, maybe another manufacturer like Motorola or Nokia might come out with an amazing phone this year and, you know, blow Samsung out of the water? Do you think Samsung's going to recover after the note? I'd love to know in the comments. My name is Timmy Joe. I'll be back next week. I'm going to start my schedule. And you know what? It's, it's, it's been a fun time on YouTube. Subscribers have never been higher. The view counts have never been higher. And I look forward to an amazing 2017. If you stick around with me, my name is Timmy Joe. And that's your smartphone news on the daily.